all things that cropped up in the descriptions about her anyway, so. Okay, we have time for one more question. And just before we finish, you guys are being thorough with your answers. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. I think this leads on really well. Uh, just thinking about villains and gold, villains in, in particular, uh, they all look at power um, as where they, uh, they lead from a particular type of power. So Apophis is his just presence, um, uh, Hathor with uh, the sex, drug, and rock and roll, like you said. Um, I find that Nietzsche has the intelligence thing and just uh, Baal with just, hey, um, social, you know, I'm me. He's just Baal. Baal's got balls. Baal's got balls. Uh, but the question was, balls. you sort of, some of you have touched on it a little bit. Um, those are the approaches that the characters had as actors. I, did you did you completely identify with that? Was that something that? Oh yes. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> and was it something that you had to work at, or was it something that you chose even? Man, I sure love the god complex thing. I'm getting used to that. <laughs> love it. <laughs> no, I, for me, no, it came completely natural. For me. <laughs> I really didn't do a lot of work for Ball and. Ball is me, really. I mean, I just, I played myself. Really. <laughs> really. Yeah, it totally worked, didn't it? And, and for Nirti, I mean, I suppose I, I did identify with that whole, uh, you know, improving on the, trying to create a Hoktar, using science, using the intellect. There was some sexuality that was also, came into it in Metamorphosis, but the mind was always working, absolutely. And Metamorphosis was the story that I shared story credit on, and so, in fact, I had put forth the idea of this DNA machine without even knowing that it was actually part of the near team mythology in episodes that I hadn't seen, that I didn't appear in. So it just worked out really well. So obviously that came naturally for me too. Fantastic. Well, that's, 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 uh, before you, I know, because it's the, yes. everyone's going to applaud. But before we finish, I, I just stopped him because I know you guys are going to just applaud and make a noise, so you're not going to hear. But, um, I always say this at, at all the conventions we're doing now, it's just, it's still amazing, and I know they agree with me that after so many years, you guys are so supportive of a show like Stargate, which was, we all miss it, it was a great place to work, and just so you know, it's because of you guys that the show ran for 10 seasons, and that characters like us came into the show, and some of us stayed in the show longer than others, but the, you know, whatever. <laughs> which obviously means I'm the most popular. And, no. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I'm just, but thank you. And yes, personally, the character stayed in the show for me because you guys liked the character and found him enjoyable. So thank you so much for the support for thank all you. these years. It's absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. The System Lords. Thank you. Cliff Simon. Jacqueline Samuda. Suzanne Brown. Peter Williams, thank you so much guys, so good, thank you.